Now I will tell you how to connect MySQL with the PHP language. There are actually some methods to use. One is MySQLi extension. MySQLi, it is actually the improved version of the MySQL. Previously, it was called MySQL and there were some functions of MySQL. But actually, after PHP 5 comes, it was deprecated. So I will not use that. Another two items that is actually uh, always used here. Some people use MySQLi and another one is PDO. Some people use PDO that means PHP data object method. I will show you how to connect PHP with MySQL using MySQLi. MySQLi has two methods. One is object oriented method and another one is procedural method. And another uh, style is PDO. So let's start. So MySQLi or PDO, what you will use? Actually, PDO works with 12 different database systems okay not mysql it can work with the other database systems also mysql i can work only with mysql database so this is actually the main difference between them both are object oriented but mysql i has a procedural system also and mysql and pdo both support the prepared statements prepared statements actually um, are used to protect your uh, uh, statement from the SQL injection that I will show you when I will discuss about the prepared statements. Now I will just uh, use to connect the MySQL how it can be done. I am going to show you first. You see that here is a code. So I am going to copy the code from here. And in the object oriented method, I will connect it with my uh, database. So this is the code. It actually comes. I'm going to delete. Okay. So first, the server name you have to give. As I am working with the local server and my server name is localhost. So here I will give the server name localhost. Another one is username. That will be root. Uh, by default when you will install jamp or you will install the any other uh, tools in order to run the PHP and P, uh, MySQL in that case you will see that the default username is root so I am going to give it root by default the password is blank but if you want you can set your own password here and another one is db name or database name but in order to check the connection you can just skip this i will just check if it is connected or not if the server name username or password if anything is wrong then it will not be connected okay so here you see that my in the object oriented system mysql is actually a class so I am going to create a new object co double n of the MySQL class and in this class I send total three items as a parameter that is server name, username and password. If the connection is okay, I am going to check the connection if this object, object of connection error, if there is any error then it will show you the error and it will tell that connection is failed. But if there is no error then it will straight call that connected successfully so let's check it if it is running or not i am going to refresh it you see that connected successfully now i am going to do one thing that is i am going to change the uh, something here for example i am going to give a password now if i check it refresh you will see that there is a fatal error because it is actually cannot understand because there is no password so here it is telling the error message says denied for the user root using password yes as i am using the password yes so it is telling me the error so this is actually on system i hope you have understood now i am going to another uh, procedure that is in the procedural method there is another one that is mysqli 
I am now going to copy this one and I am going to paste it here like before here I am going to remove the database name here database name and here die okay so there is a built-in function in PHP that is MySQL connect using the MySQL connect that means the procedural method I can just pass the parameter here and then the connection I can check if CO double n not CO double n then it will be failed and MySQL connect error will uh, throw an exception and tell which error has been happened otherwise the connected it will be connected successfully similarly i am going to check it refresh you see that the connected successfully and now here if i uh, give anything wrong for example i am going to change the username uh, sorry to change the username okay so after changing the username if i now go here and refresh you will see that here access denied this user so password no is okay but here this one is not getting access so there is error and it is showing now i am going to another system that is pdo i personally like pdo and i use the pdo uh, so a lot of people uh, a lot of people use the pdo because it is compatible to all other uh, database systems too uh, not only mysql so you can also use that and the code uh, if you write the pdo then it becomes very neat and uh, clean so i like it so here you can do this thing i am going to copy and i am going to connect it now with the pdo so here the pdo system is like this like this okay it will be actually in the new line so uh, here is another one vt okay like this for example pdo use a, a try cache block so it can easily handle the error here you see that server name password uh, this is like before i can now remove the database name option okay so here i will check if it is connected or not here is uh, error mode and error mode exception and if any error happens it will go to the cache block and using the pdo exception it will tell what Mm, is the exact error here okay so now i am and you see that there is an object i created that is uh, the object of the uh, pdo class okay now i am going to refresh and you see that connected successfully and now uh, if i make any wrong here for example this one refresh you will see that connection failed access denied for this so very uh, clean message you see not like the other messages not like the other things that my school has shown it is very neat and clean right so in this way you can easily connect the php with my sql using the my sql i and pdo if you want you can close the connection uh, the connection um, uh, normally ends when the uh, project when the page will you will uh, stop the page then automatically the connection is uh, off but if you want you can call the uh, functions for example i use the pdo so if i want i can just call that here when the connection is ended uh, like this okay so it actually depends how we, uh, you will use it you can uh, close the connection or not so this is in short uh, everything about the connection system of mysql with the php